Hello, I would like to talk with you today about interpersonal effectiveness skills. We all know that communication can be very tenuous and very difficult and it can break down very easily. I'd like to give you just a couple principles and two practices to remember if we are going to be effective in our interpersonal skills. First of all, think about interpersonal skills in principle as like a three-legged stool. You can't just have one or two legs, you need all three. And so when we are communicating with people, we want to keep in mind these three things. First of all, I want to know and be committed to maintaining my objectives, the objectives I have for myself and maybe in the relationship I have with somebody. Second, we also want to be mindful to maintain the relationship. And third, we want to simultaneously maintain our self-respect. Now, a lot of times we think it has to be one of these, but not all three. And in actuality, in principle, for good and effective interpersonal skills, we need to maintain all three of these. What do I really want? Maintaining the relationship and maintaining my own sense of self-respect. Two principles, uh, or those are three principles principles and two practices I'd like to give you are this. One, to really be effective, just simply listen to people. Listen to what they have to say. A lot of times we're listening and thinking of how we are going to respond. And I want to encourage us to simply listen and try to be a detective identifying how they're feeling, what they're feeling, why they're feeling that, and just simply listen and show good eye contact, lean forward, look interested. That helps people feel connected with you. Then the other practice is to validate how people are feeling, to validate what you're hearing them say. In our interpersonal effectiveness skills, we really want to lead first with a sense of acceptance and validation. Oftentimes, we lead with, well, yeah, but, and we talk about things we'd like to see changed. That tends to shut down communication. Rather, I want to encourage us to lead with validation, lead with acceptance. And the way we do that is by simply reflecting back what you've just listened to and heard. And if you don't know how to do that, a great way to practice is simply repeat what you've heard somebody just say to you. You can actually do it word for word, and it might seem mechanical at first, and over time it can become natural and really enhance people's sense of connection with you, their sense of trust in you, and it will also enable you to accomplish those other three principles of knowing and getting what you want in a relationship, maintaining the relationship, and maintaining your own sense of self-respect. My name is Brett Cushing. I'm a therapist here at Nystrom & Associates. If you really would like more help with us, feel free to contact us and connect a session uh, or schedule a session with one of our therapists. Thanks so much for listening.